Still to come tonight, Alina will be here with the weather. And celebrating 80 years of talking books from the RNIB's base in Peterborough. Now, here's a frightening statistic. Every year, around 20 young people in Britain take their own lives because they're being bullied at school. In the run-up to Anti-Bullying Week, which actually is next week, the director of a new feature film on the subject has been talking to young people in Essex. Some 300 young people were employed in the making of Angels vs Bullies. Morning assembly at Great Notley High School, Braintree. Chris Turner, director of a new film, is a man with a mission. For 15 years, he's toured schools across the country with the anti-bullying message. 12-year-old Nathan, who took his own life, his inspiration. You can't see Nathan, but he's standing right next to me. He comes everywhere with us. And everything we do from now on has to have real integrity because we cannot let him down because he's, he was let down by everybody. We are now his representative on earth. We are going to give him the say he was not allowed by his tormentors. The teenagers were shown the trailer for the new film, produced by the London Bus Theatre Company, funded by Essex Community Foundation. It'll be shown in selected Cineworld cinemas from this Friday. Just get the ball! He needs an ambulance. No, none of us are meant to be here. None of us are meant to say nothing, right? Although we have so many schemes in place in our school, like our CHIPS, Child Line of Partnership with Schools um, scheme, I think that it's something that won't get eradicated by itself. It's something that we all have to work towards. Luckily it's never happened to me, but it has happened to some of my friends and I think it's something that if you don't experience it or you don't actually see it happening, people don't realise quite how important it is. Among dozens of young people who appear in front of the camera, Alex Barham plays Twitch. Uh, are you proud of the film? Yes, immensely proud. Everything. It's a great achievement. It was very interesting being on set. The actual performances were very exciting. We really want every youngster in every school in Britain to work out actually they have a duty of care towards each other and a corporate responsibility to try and make sure that this does not happen in environments where they're meant to be learning rather than kind of running for their lives. A follow-up film has already won lottery funding. Young people who attend the special screenings are being offered the chance to audition for another drama with a powerful message. Kim Riley, BBC Look East, Braintree.